What's up, everyone? We are Drama Duo. I'm C. And I'm Evelyn. If you're new to our channel, here at Drama Duo, we watch, review, and uh, discuss about dramas. So the current drama that we're watching right now is When the Camellia Blooms, and all the episodes can be found on Netflix. So if you haven't done it yet so, please like our channel and this video, and um, please subscribe. Also, today we will be discussing episodes 7 through 9, and um, we just wanted to clarify, I think be before in the beginning, we said that the drama had 18 episodes, but the drama actually has 20 episodes, so we just want to clarify that. Episode 7 is called The Ong Song Fairy, and um, a short summary of it is everyone in the neighborhood, neighborhood hears about um, the ledger book and the charges against Mr. No, and Dong Baek is willing to drop the charges if Dr. No Mr. No. Mr. No. <laughs> Mr. <Nose laughs> apologize. And um, Rong Rule continues to have problems with his wife. And then um, Yong Sheik investigates further into the Joko ca Joker cases <laughs> and even hangs out with the Ansong ladies to like see if he can find any um, clues about the murders. And then another thing that happens in this episode is when that uh, Evelyn mentioned earlier that Rong Ro and Jessica has been having issues because um, uh, Jessica, she wants to go, go to Milan in November to go for modeling school and she wants to go for two years but the wrong rule like doesn't like the idea because they have a child together and he feels like it's more important for her at this time because their kid is the baby's still young and he wants Jessica to be part of her life so that you know she knows who her mom is but Jessica doesn't seem to be like affected by this like she seems to be more about caring about her, herself than her child and wrong rule. Yeah. So then they keep having issues. So there are all their other clues and other things that um, are pointing at Mr. No to be Joker because um, of he, after the murder of the skin therapist, he actually bought the building oh, yeah, I that. of um, her business. So they're wondering, like, Young Sheik, I think he finds that out, and he's wondering why would Mr. No buy that building? And that building is, like, vacate. Like, mm -hmm. nobody works there, and, like, nobody goes to that place. He tells the chief about that, that, like, what if it's Mr. No? But the chief is like, no, he's too stupid, right? Like we said. Yeah. yeah. He, <laughs> they're like, he's too stupid. Like, if it was him, then he would have left, like, traces behind. True. That they would have found, but... Okay, so we're going to do favorite scenes from episode 7. And this is actually a scene I picked out. Um, so leading up to um, what we're going to show you guys is Young Sheik and Dong Baek are at the market shopping for groceries. And um, Dong Baek tells Young Sheik that she wishes Young Sheik didn't know about her, like, her ex's, her ex, you know, wrong role in her past. And she keeps, uh, like, repeating a remark uh, that is along the line of all men are the same all men are the same and this scene is young sheik's reply to dong bag Don't 
보고 싶어가지고 이 새벽 5시에 견화 운동 자꾸 이, 승실나게 좀 하지 말라고요 좀 Cute. The reason why I like this scene so much is because it addresses like the stereotype that people have about men, you know, like that saying, like she kept saying before the scene, that all men are like, that they're all kind of like selfish and they're dogs <laughs> and that anything that's complicated, um, men are going to run from it. Like, So I really like the line when Young Sheik says, um, if you think I'm no different, why would you bother seeing me? You know, like, it's true, like, you know, like, women, or, you know, a lot of people, likes to complain, like, oh, men are the same, and they're all like this and that, but, like, like, Young Sheik said, like, if men are all the same, then why do you want to, like, date, like, you know, different be people? Them. Or, like, her, like, why do you want to be with her if she keeps thinking that all men are the same? And, yeah, I like it. And like when Young Sheik says that to her, like she realizes that, you know, all men aren't the same because Young Sheik is better and, you know, he's different from Rung Ruo. <laughs> <laughs> do you like that scene? What do you think from yeah, that scene? Yeah, uh, I do like that scene because I like, uh, Young Sheik is kind of like, I feel like dorky and kind of corny at things, but <laughs> it's like kind of cute because I don't mind dorky and kind of cute kind of guys because sometimes our bad boys are like not all that <laughs> yeah so um, I just love the relationship it's so cute yeah I really like it I think Young Sheik has some of the best he has the best lines because I think a lot of a lot of my favorite scenes is him with his amazing <laughs> lines like dude if a guy says like all these lines that Young Sheik say to you I mean, of course. We don't fall in love with him. Yeah, but we don't know what that happens in real life because, you know, it's different. <laughs> I know. Just the writing. The writing is really good. Like, whoever is writing his lines are, like, doing a good job. Doing a good job. Yeah. And I also really like his character. Like you said, like, you know, he's not, like, the cute bad boy. Like, the hot guy, you know. Mm -hmm. He's, like, the guy that you need. You know. That you could depend on. Yeah. Because me and my sister, we were talking about this. Uh, this drama and I was like yeah you're like Young Sheik is like the guy you need and Rung Rul is like the guy you want because he's hot he's famous rich yeah and rich you know <laughs> but Young Sheik is like the dorky guy who is going to always be there for you encourage and you encourage you support you and anything so yeah pick Young Sheik yes. I'm pick Young Rung Rul but yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay so for the um, ending scene of episode 7 um, it shows where um, Young Sheik and Dong Baek is in the bar, and all of a sudden um, the lights start flickering. Yeah, like the mood. Yeah, it like, changed. Changes because like even when they get in, she's like she makes a comment like, "Oh my god, I hate coming in here because it's so dark." Yeah, and like for me, it was kind of like something's Ooh, happening. Something's gonna happen. Yeah, so it, like they enter, it's dark. Lights are, and they turn the light. It was flickering, uh -huh. and then. Um, Young Sheik is setting something on the table and then all of a sudden you um, you can just see that he's looking at something and mm -hmm. they zoom to the message because uh, it says like I told you not to be a joke I've been watching you every day ever, every day ever since that I don't day. think they zoomed to the message right away they didn't? I thought that it was like they zoom onto his face because he's like all shock oh and, oh, and then, then oh and then Dong Bae walks Dong Bae goes to. trying to and then he pulls her yeah, I thought that they were going to kiss, but then no, he just, like, pulled her and, like, hugged her very tight, like, protecting her from something. So I'm like, what the heck is going on? I know. And then they showed the message that yeah. Joker left, and it was, like, in big red writing. So, yeah. um... So that that's, was the cliffhanger yep. for that episode. Mm -hmm. So in this episode, there's a, um, it goes back in to the large message that Joker writ wrote on the wall on, in, um... Don Big's bar, and there's like a new security camera that was set up in the bar, but then it got spray painted because for some reason it seemed like Joker knew about it. So then Don Big no longer feels safe in her, her own bar, and um, then Yang Shi makes a list of 
all the people he knew and who came or he encountered that day of when the security uh, camera was set up. And then Yoshi makes a list of all the people he knew. So basically almost everybody in town. So I think the first people person that he wrote is the owner of the mill. Yeah, who, which, who is it? I don't remember I don't remember. Seeing. But then I did put like owner of the mill, you know, mill, flower. Bakery? <laughs> well, mill, flower, Joker had flower on his shoes. So I don't know, like maybe this new But they don't show the person though. Yeah, we don't they know. They just talk about I didn't know, I but that was one of the names that he mentioned. Oh. Um, and then of course he has to put Mr. No down mm -hmm. because he's a weirdo. And then he put down the Ongsung ladies and Miss Know It All and Wrong Rule. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's more, but. There's more, but those are just the names that yeah. I wrote. Well, I mean, he put Don't Beg Down too because. She, oh, he put um, her mother down yeah. too. Because she was there when they were setting up the oh, camera. Yeah. 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 So, so he put everybody that he remembered. One thing I want to mention is like while Young Sheik was making like the list for all the people that knew about the new security camera, um, there was one person that he didn't put on his list, right? Yeah. And that was I don't know his name, of course. <laughs> I think they do say his name. I don't remember. I don't remember his name too, <laughs> but it's of course the handyman that actually uh, set up the security security camera so from that i feel like he might be joker so he is my new sus suspect <laughs> i think he is joker the handyman reason why let me list it off to you guys oh boy um <laughs> because obviously joker had to know about the new security camera and of course the handyman was the one who set it up so he knew about it, of course mm -hmm. and also um the handyman was there earlier in the up uh, season when he came there to fix down bake their drain mm -hmm. and he pulled out um, the waitress hair so he knew that the waitress was staying at the bar and so which is why when joker came to like burn off the freaking writing on the wall he wasn't surprised like he wasn't cut off guard that the waitress was staying there so yeah and Let's see. Oh, and also the handyman, he's like shy and timid, right? And, and like kind of like, I don't know, antisocial. He's a talk about. Yeah. He's really he's, quiet. He's really shy. And Young Sheik, I think in one of the episodes, I forgot which one, but he said that that's a behavior of a sociopath, psychopath, serial killer. So he kind of just fits the whole thing. And also the last one, of course, he, the handyman, is the least expected person to be Joker, so mm -hmm. you know it's always the least expected, expected person who is the murderer. So then, uh, later, Young Sheik and other policemen, yeah, uh, <laughs> were investigating the fire, and Young Sheik noticed that there was a green lighter that was found at the scene, and he seemed like he he thinks that he saw someone carrying it around before but I don't yeah. remember who um, and also the baseball coach mentions that the burned down building smells like paint thinner yeah so so these clues like Joker probably did this um, it's just why and it's weird yeah like why is it at the school like, and so yeah cause the lighter Joker is always holding it to a lighter uh, he has a lighter and paint thinner i feel like did they mention <laughs> <laughs> that happened in therapist building i think something something along that he smelled like paint thinner or something yeah i don't remember something don't really remember. in one of those something they mentioned before about something about the smell of paint yeah. or whatever too so yeah but the remember. question is, why did he burn down that building? Was he trying to hurt Dongbaek's son? I feel like it because... Because her son was there, like, for, like, baseball, after school baseball, or whatever. I think it's just, I think he wanted something to happen to the son to kind of warn Dongbaek, but then nothing really happened. Yeah. 
So I have a favorite scene, and it's um, Don Baek and Young Shi walking, and um, Young Shi sees that Don Baek is clenching her fist a lot. So then um, they go on and talk about whatever's gonna happen. He was gonna hold her hand. No, she said no. <laughs> I thought that was a joke. <laughs> Me too. I was like, oh my god. Freaking creepy guy. So I chose that because um, it just shows that even though Don't Fake is a strong woman, it's okay for her to have someone she could depend on like um, to ease her hardships and fear of certain things. Mm -hmm. That's what I kind of thought of. So in episode 9, um, it's titled, I Will Welcome Everyone. So um, in here, Don't Fake uh, has decided to leave Aung San because she feels that it's no longer safe for her and her son. And Young Sheik is determined to find Joker so that Dong Big doesn't have to leave. And also, um, Wrong Rule decides to decides that he wants Dong Big back. So another important event that happens um, while Young Sheik is still invest investigating about Joker. Um, in the in the video, he f finally found something different, and he noticed that the, there's like a window that's open in one of his videos videos oh, yeah. that he took so that made him go to the building where the where the skin therapist died yeah. and while he's trying to like go into this building it's like locked up so he can't go inside so he backs up and then he steps on a bowl and then there, it shows like there's like food in there like it could be for a cat or a dog mm -hmm. but um then after that scene it keeps sh like it shows that there's like another bowl found by um, Don Big's bar mm -hmm. and then also um, later in the episode they show that cat food I mean I think yeah it's, I think they said it's a cat yeah, food, it's cat food. Um, they showed that also at the school building that got burned so then oh. Yang Sheik was like wondering why there's cat food like at the building and mm -hmm. then at the school and then at um, Don, well, uh, yeah, at he Don doesn't Bex know about Dong Beck's place yet, does he? Um, maybe not. But then <coughs> there's like an alley. Yeah. That showed the the food too. Okay, so we are going to our favorite scenes for episode nine, and um, so just a little background, um, on this scene is Rong Rule begs Dong Beck to take him back. And Yongshi walks in seeing Rong Rule holding 
her hand. So that happens right before the scene. Do I feel like he's gonna do his flies and kick? <laughs> <laughs> like he wants to do it um, so bad. I know. But he's so good at holding it in now. Ugh. His smile face. He's like, no. I know, I for a second. I'm just like, no. I know. Stupid wrong rule. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, that's a girl I love. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Oh, I love it. It's I so amazing. I love that scene. I mean, he <sighs> was disappointed for a little bit. But he's, just bam. he's like, no, you're making the wrong decision. <laughs> <laughs> but that was so <sighs> All right. So why I love that scene, of course, um, I really like this scene because uh, it shows the difference between Rong Rul and Yong Shi. Like, Rong Rul is like trying to tell her what to do and to choose him, while Yong Shi is telling her, you know, it's really her choice, her decision, and she should listen to her heart. Right? Like he said, you make your own path. You, mm -hmm. The decision is yours, you know? So right. you really see the two different. They're two different characters. I like that. And, of course, her badass personality comes out when she tells him to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, sh and that scene is, like, the scene where she finally draws, like, the freaking line, like, hey, I'm not gonna freaking go back to you. So, stop trying to, to like, you know, come back into my life, you piece mm -hmm. of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and why do you love that scene so much, see? Well, I just love it how, like, um, like... He just says, you know, um, what does he say again? A lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> he always says, he always has the best line, like I say. Yeah, because he, well, he was like reminding her that she's not the type that will let somebody drag her life around. Yeah. So, you know, he's always there reminding her, you know, she's always in control of her life. So yeah. don't forget that. Like, why, why have someone control your life again when you were in charge of yeah. your life already? Yeah. And like, you know, Rong was like, I can leave everything behind and be with you. I mean, I feel like if he did that in the beginning, it would have been different. Well, I feel like <clears throat> that's not what she needs and that's not what she wants. Like, she doesn't want someone to leave their whole life behind just to be with her, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. They do. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, like, what? see, like, like how Rong, uh, how young she is, like, you know, he has his own thing, but, you know, he makes time for her. He's devoted to her. He doesn't take her for granted, like, wrong rule. So, like, she doesn't oh, yeah. need a guy to leave, like, their whole life behind for her, you know? Mm -hmm. She needs someone like Young Sheik. 
<laughs> who is her personal cheerleader. <laughs> Oh, yeah. While he's still his own individual, you know. Okay, so a really special scene happens at the end of episode 9. And it is what we've all been waiting for. So, spoiler. Yeah, <laughs> spoiler, spoiler. spoiler. <laughs> okay. two questions for you guys um who do you guys think the green lighter belongs to so the green lighter if you guys can remember from what we were talking about was left sorry was found at the um school building. the school building that burnt down so who does it belong to and like like you said young she was like i remember seeing someone carrying that around but he couldn't remember who is that here yeah so I mean obviously someone that he knows who is around them frequently but he just can't remember. Anyway. And uh, my second question is uh why do you guys think Joker is leaving cat food everywhere? Is there really a cat there or is that like is there a meaning behind that? Yeah. Like I don't know, it's odd behavior. Yeah, I haven't I mean. seen, like, when I was watching the uh, the drama, I haven't seen cats, so I don't know. Yeah. So remember to like, subscribe, and ring the bell um, to get no notifications to our new videos. And thanks, everyone, for watching. Goodbye.